Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Aussie Fish Keeping. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some of the reasons I personally think aquarium snails are super beneficial to keep in your aquarium. So obviously aquarium snails do get quite a bad rap. There is some pest aquarium snails, which are pretty annoying. So things like bladder snails, ram's horn snails, Malaysian trumpet snails, they can very quickly take over your aquarium, which in some cases can be obviously super annoying they can be an eyesore and they can produce quite a bit of waste as well which can put a lot more pressure on your filter so there is i guess a few good reasons why people hate them but in today's video we're going to be talking about some of the reasons i actually like to keep them in my aquarium so i will just quickly say this is sort of in like controlled numbers i don't like keeping massive populations of snails that aren't controlled i do every now and then go in and cull and cut back the population just to make sure all my snail populations in my aquariums aren't getting too out of hand so yeah for today's video i've picked out five benefits that snails actually bring to your aquarium so without any further ado let's just jump straight into today's video with the first benefit so benefit number one this is a pretty obvious one and it's algae control so most of the time when people actually buy snails they are buying them just to have as algae control although obviously sometimes you can get snails in other ways such as like coming in on plants their eggs can come in on plants they can come in in gravel or sand or they can just come in water that your fish is being transported in but the reason most aquarium snails like mystery snails and things like that are even sold in the first place is because they are super great algae eaters. So in my opinion, the best algae eating snail is probably mystery snails, and that's probably just because they're the biggest, so they can eat a lot more algae. Whereas things like ramshorn snails, bladder snails, they will eat algae, but they aren't the best at it just because they are pretty small. Although in saying that, you can see in all my tanks behind me, I have, in this one, I've got only snails. There's no bristlenose in there. These ones, there is a few bristlenose, so the bristlenose are probably keeping the glass pretty clean, but this one only has snails, shrimp, and endlers. So the shrimp are probably eating a little bit of the algae, but I'd say most of it is being controlled by the population of snails I have in there. And those snails aren't anything fancy. They're just like assorted ramshorn snails. There's a few different colors in there. So yeah, algae is a staple in the snail's diet. They will eat any sort of surface algae. So things like green film algae, green dust algae, green spot algae. And they won't really eat things like hair algae or blackbeard algae. It's just mainly those surface algae algaes and one of the great things about the snails is that if you actually have a good enough source of algae in your aquarium they can just live off that so you don't need to feed them or anything they will literally just solely live off the algae that's growing in your aquarium so they're super easy to care for particularly if you do have a good source of algae so yeah with that being said algae control is definitely one of the best benefits that comes with keeping snails in your aquarium moving on to the next benefit on our list we have detritus management so there's actually a few ways these guys can help manage the detritus in your aquarium number one they'll actually eat any sort of leftover food or breaking down organic matter and by eating all of that it'll prevent it from actually breaking down further and turning into the detritus on top of that if you have like any dead fish in your aquarium or anything like that because these guys are such good scavengers they're also going to just completely devour those as well so they're super beneficial at making sure they get to things before they actually further break down into detritus and cause all sorts of problems Problems in your nitrogen cycle and another way these guys can actually help manage detritus is they can actually kick it up into the water column or out of your substrate which makes it a lot easier for your filter to suck up in particular the best detritus management snail in my opinion is probably Malaysian trumpet snails so these guys will literally just bury in your substrate all day particularly if you have a super soft substrate that's easy for them to bury in so things like sand I guess whereas if you have gravel these guys will actually be out on the glass a lot of the time so I'd highly recommend trying to keep them in sand and what they'll do is when they come out during the night, they'll actually turn over that substrate and that'll kick out any of the detritus that's been trapped in there. So it'll basically just mean you have super clean substrate if you have a lot of these Malaysian trumpet snails in your aquarium. So not only will the Malaysian trumpet snails kick the detritus up, but any sort of snail will kick detritus up into the water column. Just because as they scavenge, they will obviously like slide through all this detritus and that'll kick it up and make it easier for your filter to suck up so yeah with that said detritus management is another super beneficial thing that these guys bring to your aquarium moving on to the next benefit on our list this one sort of goes hand in hand with the last and that's that they actually eat any of that leftover fish food so when you have other fish in an aquarium whether it be a community aquarium or just a species only tank a lot of the time they're not actually going to eat all of the food and some will fall down to the bottom and without the snails in there that's 
stuff can actually decompose and cause ammonia spikes in your aquarium. So the snails will go around after your fish have eaten and they'll just pick up any of the little leftover pieces. They can be literally tiny pieces. They'll find every single little bit of leftover food and they'll just smash that out. So pretty much all snails will do this. Things like ram's horns, bladder snails, mystery snails, Malaysian trumpet snails, rabbit snails. All snails are great scavengers and they will all eat leftover food that your other fish don't eat. So yeah, with that said, that is definitely another great benefit that these guys bring to your aquarium. Moving on to the next benefit on our list, this one again sort of goes with the last two and that's that they actually aerate the substrate. So this is only really things like Malaysian trumpet snails and other snails that actually dig into your substrate and sort of dig around in there and it's only really beneficial for super dense substrates like sand or dirt. Now in these substrates toxic gas bubbles can actually build up over time just because it is a super dense substrate and those bubbles do just get caught in pockets under there and build up and if they build up into massive bubbles and slowly leach out that can actually kill your fish and it can be super detrimental to your whole tank's health but what these Malaysian trumpet snails will do is because they're constantly turning over the substrate they're making sure that it's nice and aerated and that there's no real pockets that gas can build up in and this gas usually builds up when things like organic debris or detritus get trapped under the substrate and slowly break down and while they're breaking down they produce this gas not only will the snails make sure that the substrate is aerated but they'll also make sure that there's no organic debris or any detritus that can actually be broken down and turned into this gas as well as that the aeration promotes healthy growth in your aquarium plant roots and it promotes better water circulation throughout the substrate as well so yeah, with that being said, aerating your substrate and turning it over is another great benefit that these guys can bring to your aquarium. And then moving on to the final benefit on our list, I don't really know if this is a benefit, but it's definitely, in my opinion, a reason you should keep them, and that's that they're just super low maintenance. So like I said at the beginning, if you have a mature aquarium with plenty of algae growing, plenty of biofilm, these guys can literally just live without any care whatsoever. So all these aquariums behind me all have snails in them and I literally do nothing for them. I don't give them any sort of like special diet. They literally just eat the algae, they eat the biofilm and they'll eat any of that leftover food that my other fish don't eat. As well as that, they're not picky when it comes to water parameters or anything like that. They can literally live in any water. It could be like the dirtiest water from a puddle on the side of the road and they live in that perfectly fine. They really don't need any special care whatsoever and they're by far one of the easiest things that you can actually keep in your aquarium. But yeah, with that being said, as well as them benefiting your aquarium in a whole variety of ways, they are also super low maintenance and super easy to care for. So that is actually going to bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope this video helps a few of you guys out. Obviously, everybody's going to have their opinion on snails. A lot of people like snails, a lot of people don't. I do understand why some people don't because because, I mean, if they aren't controlled, they can just turn into massive populations of snails, which can literally take over your aquarium. So you do definitely need to be careful and you do need to make sure you are going in there every now and then and just thinning out the population a bit. But if you're willing to do that, then I definitely think they are super beneficial to add into your aquarium. So yeah, if you did enjoy today's video, please make sure to go down and subscribe. And while you're down there, smash the like button and comment your thoughts on today's video. I always love going down there and reading them all and I try to reply back to as many comments as I can. I still am a little bit sick, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird still. Hopefully by the next video, my voice will be back up to normal again. But yeah, also make sure to go check out my website, Aussie fishkeeping.com i've got all sorts of fish botanicals other aquarium products up there but with that being said thank you all so much for sticking around to the end and i'll see you all in that next video